Good morning, it's Sunday morning. Hello, how are you? I just uh, wanted to drop in here. It's Leanne from Uplift Coaching. Um, I just wanted to do a quick chat to you about a couple of things that I've noticed a lot this week and they're kind of really, they're really just you know, making women and yourselves <laughs> and people, uh, if, you, if you relate to this, you'll know that it is um, about what you do, is disheartened, frustrated, disappointed, um, and it's that continual um, behavior of um, weighing yourself, weighing yourself, measuring numbers on a scale rather than weighing um, or measuring, I should say, rather than measuring um, with a bigger picture, a bigger, uh, bigger goals, um, more uh, value, more value for you, right? More value about you. So if you're um, a woman that's always watching their weight, disappointed that they didn't lose weight this week, you're measuring yourself all the time, you're focusing on the wrong things, right? You need to focus on your habits and what you're doing, but you also need to be aware of the, the I call it diet thinking, the diet thinking that you've learnt since day dot, um, when you started worrying about, about health and weight, um, maybe being a teenager, maybe you weren't happy with your, the way you looked, whatever it is that it's come about, whether it be through stress, whether it be through hormones, through um, there's various reasons why we put on weight, but typically we can help ourselves if we're not um, going down that path of self, um, I don't know what you call it, self, just not looking after yourself and also self-loathing, paying out on yourself, monitoring the wrong things, looking at the wrong things. You're not monitoring your energy. You're not monitoring your sleep. You're not, you're not looking at the other big picture things. You're only focused on your tummy. The amount of times I get asked about tummy weight, but then we look at what's really going on and there is so much stress, so much um, stuff going on and inactivity and not eating well and not nurturing, not getting enough rest um, and mindset, full on negative mindset, the tummy weight is the last of their issues, <laughs> right? It's the, it's, the, it's the outcome, it's the symptom, it's the result of not taking care of the things that need to be taken care of. And even with emotions and doing things, you know, that don't serve you, um, if you're not, you've got to be prepared to sit in that um, in that discomfort rather than looking for comfort for food and other things, yeah. And that whistle, that's my husband being stupid in the background, <laughs> trying to ignore him, and I hope he doesn't come this way and annoy me. Anyway, so I just wanted to talk to you about that because I'm seeing, yeah, there's that habit of, of weighing yourself a lot, expecting a result when actually nothing else has changed. So if you can't. If you're not changing anything that's happening in your day, your thoughts, your life, the number isn't going to change on the scale. All you're doing is disappointing yourself, frustrating yourself even more, right? So it's not the right thing to focus on. Um, and if you'd like to know uh, more about that, about, oh, there's some people, <laughs> did you see that? <laughs> that's my, my boy and my husband being stupid in the background. How funny, right? Um, so yes, and I suppose the other thing is, yeah, how to measure your, your progress, which I've sort of covered off as well, right? So hide the scales, get get some other measuring um, ways in your on your measuring stick, right? So look at your energy, look at how you're feeling, look at your diet, look at um, you know enjoyment of food. I think that's number one is enjoyment of food because a lot of women are not enjoying food. It's stressful. They don't know what to eat. And then they're feeling bad about eating, which is even worse, right? No one wants that. You don't need to feel bad about what you eat, right? So it's, it's again, it's this diet thinking that we've learnt and we need to unlearn it, right? There's no, there's no benefit to you to be following these rules that someone else made, right? A diet is a made up thing that someone made to sell it to you. So they're all bullshit. And the other thing we listen to is the things we say about ourselves to ourselves, right? So that's got to stop as well. So if you've got poor self-talk um, and you may have been putting yourself down and picking on your tummy weight or your butt, you know, for a long time, right? It's, it's a learnt behaviour. So that's got to stop as well if you want to move forward and be, you know, and live 
fully live the way you want to live without worrying about do I need to you know should I eat that or do I feel bad about eating that oh, I can't eat that stuff that <laughs> right and that's the other thing too I see a lot of rebellious behavior right so they're trying to make some changes have a tough day and then I call it teenage rebellion we've got this teenager in us going stuff that I don't care I'm gonna have it anyway right so there's this rebellion thing going on as well which you need to be aware of um, because we all do it where we go we're not listening to that like I'm, I'm gonna have that I'm gonna have that anyway I'm not following that you know like that's not what you should be rebelling against right you should be rebelling against the whole diet thing in the first place but yeah I just think it's funny and it is exactly what we would do if we were a teenager we'd go stuff it or um, one of my clients calls it the fuck you um, you know it's like that that fuck you food I've done well I'm gonna have it anyway stuff you I'm not I don't care what you say right so and that's not to me that's to herself right that's what I mean um, so if you're doing that behavior too we need to talk as well so if you've got anything going on that's really a red flag um, and really making you feel bad you're doing it wrong right we don't want to eat so we feel bad we want to eat with love we want to eat to enjoy we want to eat to nurture and we want to eat to heal right if you're not doing those things and you're worrying about weight and you're measuring weight in the wrong way or you're actually focused on weight stop we don't focus on weight we focus on habits we focus on energy we focus on how we feel and we connect in with what we want because after a while you've probably stopped thinking about what you want right you're just focusing on what you're but looks like or your tummy weight now obviously as we're getting older we're gonna have tummy weight most of it is from hormones and stress right so if we can balance our stress calm the hell down get some balance back in our day with nutrition and exercise um, and that that is not an issue that can be balanced right it's just that we have allowed it to get out of control by the time we hit menopause we're all over the shop right let's reverse that we can certainly make a difference to um, to how you're feeling uh, even moving forward right it's we've got we've got a long time to get this right it's, it's not a um, it's not a race and you don't have to fit a box that someone tells you to fit in and you don't have to make it um, fit a six-week time frame right this is what the, the other crazy part is is that um, we are taught that if we're not going to get it right in a say a six week program or something like that if we don't lose that weight then it's all over we failed right so it's a limitless goal limitless desires we have all the time in the world to get this right um, and to to grow and to learn continually right we do not have to fit into somebody else's box and even though I sell and, and look after women in blocks that's so that we can achieve certain goals within that time or ch certain desires in that time but it's also a process that you can repeat right it's not to um, get a result in a certain amount of time it's actually to follow a journey and then repeat that journey anytime you need go back to it learn how how to do this without making it something you go on right a diet is something you go on but you've got to get off that and if you haven't learned how to to be yourself to eat listening to your body listening to what you want then you're always going to be looking for someone else to tell you what to do and that's not what you want right we want to move forward you're in control you have control over what you think what you say what you act uh, sorry how you act and what you do right and what you eat so let's get you back in in control of that and empowered for your own choices and listening to you what you want and eating because you want it not because someone said you have to eat that or even worse saying that you can't eat something like yeah it's just no wonder you know so many women are stressed and confused about all this stuff right we've got to make it so simple so if you ever need any help jump on a call because that's what I love doing I love solving mysteries right? <laughs> mysteries and I love setting you straight so if you don't mind honesty um, that is something I do very well um, and it helps a lot if you can you know I don't want to uh, yeah you've already heard your own bullshit you don't need me to um, listen to it too you need me to call it right and I'll call you on your bullshit and get you straight yeah so if that's what you want then then I can help all right have a beautiful day guys thank you thanks Marianne thanks Yvette thanks Helen and anyone else who's watching today okay bye